What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this exercise, we're going to work with the link file. So we're going to link a Revit structure project into our Revit architecture project to share the structural model and synchronize both the projects for changes. So the first thing that we will be doing is we're going to link a Revit structure project. So let's go to insert and then from the link panel, you click link Revit. Okay, you click. And then let's look for the model. So we are going to link here this one, the M Revit structure link. And then we will be using internal origin to internal origin. Okay, so let's select open and then let's wait. So as you can see, it's being upgraded to 2023 from 2012. Okay, so you have an option here if you want to cancel it, but we are not going to cancel it. Okay, so now the next thing that we'll be doing, we are going to open the project browser. So let's just close that. Okay, so there's our structural model, right? So you can click that. So if ever you are having a difficulty selecting the structural project, so make sure uh, the link here, this one, select links is turned on like this so the icon should be like this so if, if that is turned off so it looks like this see so there's a small red x there that means that is deactivated so you just need to click that to activate so you'll be able to select the link model like that okay so let's go to the project browser here and then we are going to duplicate our level x here so if i open that one so this is how it looks like so let's duplicate this so let's right click and then let's uh, duplicate this just duplicate and then we're going to change the name here so right click that and then look for the option rename and then let's type in here uh, level x dash uh, structural structural enter okay so that's now our duplicated model Okay, so for this one, I am gonna ch I'm gonna check the properties here. So since this view we made it structural, we name it uh, structural. So we're going to change the properties here. So for the discipline, I'm gonna change that to from architectural to structural. Okay, so let's click the drop down and then let's look for structural. Let's click that, and then we're going to apply it. So this is now how it looks like. So there's a slight change there. Okay, and then the next thing that we'll be doing, let's open up the visibility graphic override. So let's click that. Okay, and then let's go to the Revit links. So here in the Revit links, so this is our link model. So if you want to modify how the link model will gonna be look like, so you can go to the Revit links and then as you can see the current setting here is by host view so if this is our host view so it the link model will follow the settings of our host view so let's say you want to change the settings of your link model so you can click that and then you can select here by link view so let's say for example you have a uh, setup uh, view for your link model Okay, the original file have a setup view. So you can use that setup in your current view here. So you can select by link view if you want to follow that setup. So you can click that. And then after that, you can select here, OK. And then you can select here, OK. All right. All right, so now the next thing that we will be doing here is you, we are going to by the way you will know you notice here the walls of the host file are no longer visible so you, know, so you have set the display settings of the link in the current view as intended by the structural engineer so the host or the architectural walls here are hidden so the next thing that we'll be doing is I'm gonna open the 3d view here this one and then let's run a clash 
detection or interference check. So here in Revit, you call it interference check. So let's go to collaborate and then let's look for uh, interference check. So let's click that. And then after that, I'm going to uh, select the structural, this one. So run interference check. Okay, so here on the interference check dialog box, so here on the left side, I'm going to make sure that current uh, project is selected. So I'm going to select the walls here. And then here on the right section, I'm going to click the drop down here. So I want to check the clash, the walls of my architectural model with the structural link model. So I'm going to select that. And then I want that to be checked with the framing. So I'm going to select the structural framing. So this is between the architectural wall or the wall of our host uh, project or host file versus the link model structural framing. Okay, so let's select here. Okay. And there you go. So we have here several clashes. So if you're going to click one of the clash, it will highlight here. So obviously that's the clash. So there's our wall here overlapping with our frame here. Right? So you can select that one. So there's a clash there. So there's a clash there. So let's say for this one, I'm going to click this wall and then I'm going I'm just going to drag this below like that and then align it there. There you go. And then escape. So as you can see this is now my wall. So hopefully it's not clashing anymore with my link model. So same with this wall here. So I'm going to select that. And then maybe I can use this one. Uh, attach top base. Let me see if I can use this. And then I'm going to click. All right. So it's not selecting the framing here. So I can't use the attach top base. So I'm just going to escape. All right. So I'll just select the wall and then just drag it down until it aligns. There you go. So I'm going to select this, that arrow, drag it down. There you go. Okay. Or you can also select the wall and then you can change here the offset. Okay. So you can change the offset here, the top offset. So previously, how many clashes we have? So one, two, originally. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So if I'm going to refresh this, let me refresh. So as you can see, the clashes here. Okay, so the Okay, so no more clash between this wall here and then this frame. So the first clash here is now between this wall here and then this frame here. So how about this one? So it's the same. So I'm just going to escape. So let's go back again to the uh, interference checks. Show last report. Click that. So how about this one? So that's the clash there. Clash there. Okay. Okay, so we have another clash here. So I want to fix this one. So I'm going to select this wall. I'm just going to escape once. So let's select the wall. And this time, let me change the top offset. Let me change this. Let's say minus 600. And then apply. There you go. Okay, and then refresh again. So again, it, it should be removed now to the clash. All right. There you go. So no more clash between this wall here, this wall, this wall, and then the other wall here to the frame. Okay. So for the rest of the clashes, so you can practice removing the clashes if you have this exercise file. Okay. So that's it for this simple exercise. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.